Oh hey, what's up? Cypher like Lumberjack. We got another top five, and we're doing clay mix. So that took me approximately seven hours to do, and that just goes to show the appreciation you should have for the artwork and the dedication all the time that goes into claymation. So the first movie on my list is going to be Coraline, which I know is a very mainstream movie, but it's just great, and there's nothing you can say against that. The story is amazing and takes an intensely dark twist that is just absolutely amazing to watch. The world building in it is phenomenal, and the characters in this movie are probably the best part about it. I mean, Coraline and her parents are just like such a dysfunctional family, but you just can't help but love them because, I mean, they, they represent like real life situations. And then like the opposite parents are just like so fun, but also so twisted. It's, it's, it's quite beautiful. And then the next movie on the list is something you guys probably haven't heard about, but it's uh, Anomalisa. And this movie was directed by the guy that uh, he wrote Eternal Sunshine on the Spotless Mind. And just from that alone, you know that this movie is going to be um, insightful, but also super weird. The movie follows just a guy that has the most bland and like regular life that you can imagine. And he just wants something original. He just, he's desperately seeking something original and meaningful in his life. And it's a struggle, and it shows you how horrible and sucky life can be but it's beautiful because of it. it's so real and it's so intensely original. But you should definitely check it out if you're okay with watching some weird stuff. Next movie is Kubo and the Two Strings, another mainstream movie, but again, it's freaking awesome. I mean, this little kid is like a warrior facing like the biggest enemies of the world, but uh, but really, he's facing some, some serious trauma as a little kid, and it's a kid's movie that has some serious messages about like going through stuff like that, and it's amazing how that they, they're, they're able to incorporate stuff like that and make it enjoyable for kids. Next movie is another weird one, Mary and Max, and this is the only movie on the list that brought me to tears. And I'm not a big crier. It follows a little girl in Australia and an old dude in New York City, and they're just pen pals. And it's Philip Seymour Hoffman, it's the old dude, so you know it's gonna be good. And it's just, they're very lonely people, and they're basically each other's only friends. Maybe this is why I don't have any and friends. It's just so touching and heartbreaking to see their companionship, and it just, it's a very strong message about human connection and grief. And honestly, there, there's a whole bunch of messages in this movie. You just gotta watch it, cry a little bit, and, uh, and move on. Next movie is probably the most mainstream claymation ever, The Nightmare Before Christmas. And the thing about this movie that's so great is the originality, of course, that they came up with the idea that uh, each holiday has its own individual world, but also the world building in it, uh, just creating Halloween Town. It's such a cool concept. Halloween Town's like my favorite place to go in Kingdom Hearts, so that's reason enough. You also just gotta love uh, Jack the Pumpkin King, he's basically the coolest character ever. And then. The number one reason, though, is Boogeyman is seriously like the scariest character in any movie ever, and I still have nightmares. Yeah, and that's my top five, and I mean, if that isn't good enough for you, here's another top five. I'll just go through real quick. Chicken Run, classic. I probably watched that movie like 10,000 times as a kid, just very enjoyable, high-paced, good fun. Uh, Isle for Dogs. Uh, didn't make the list because I didn't really like it that much, but it is Wes Anderson and it is true art and You should watch it. I mean most people do like it um, My life as a zucchini this movie is on Netflix So you should go out and check it immediately and it's basically just about a foster kid um, French movie, but very cultured very 
very uh, heartbreaking as well. Um, and then Fantastic Mr. Fox, which isn't on the list because it's technically not a claymation, it's just stop motion, but it's like one of my favorite Wes Anderson movies ever. And then finally, The Little Prince, which is only partially claymation, but just such a essential movie that you need to watch. The movie really captures such poetic themes and it's a great watch. So, I hope that you go out and educate yourself on some cinematic masterpieces and, and really appreciate all the things that go into animation. And I hope you enjoyed this sweetness. I'll catch you next time.